My guests are misbehaving and we haven't even begun the year properly yet. Most market participants got the Brexit vote wrong, called for a Hillary Clinton US election victory. And some thought Anglo-American. Two years ago, my three guests and I thought that Anglo-American would be the star on JC's main board. It's only just made it back to 200 bucks where it was two years ago when they first picked it. But hey, we're not going to hold it against them <laughs> I didn't much. It, you did. I didn't. Stop interrupting. play the reel. Uh, <laughs> do you want me to do that? You yeah. think I don't have the reel? Go back. You can't back. handle the reel. Well, I can. <laughs> well, anyway, my memory tells me I haven't got the reel. <laughs> we'll get real in a moment. It's January and the UK closer to triggering Article 50. Donald Trump is the guy who will, in a couple of weeks' time, be taking over as U.S. President. While Anglo-American did shed some of its weight, it was up 180% over the last year, which gives Adrian Saville a pass because, of course, he doubled up this time last year on Anglo-American, so he's looking jolly clever indeed. This is The Moneymakers. I'm Bruce Whitfield. Tonight, we take a look into our market commentator's crystal balls to see whether or not they will be shattered or whether they will be crystal clear well into 20. Let's talk to Sasha Narishkin, who's director at Vestact. J.M. Busher, the head of J.M. Busher Investments, and also Dr. Adrian Saville, the chief strategist at Citadel. You got it wrong. Then you got it <laughs> wonderfully right. I think you... you as long be, as it's a you, good order. I think, you, <laughs> I, I think you, dub, you doubled up at like 50 or 60 bucks or yeah. something horrendous this time last yes. year on, on Anglos. Yeah. And uh, what, a, what a lovely call. <laughs> <laughs> really? I, don't think I, was alone. I think Sasha was, uh, was with me on that. And uh, Joseph was Norman Smith, Smith was, was the other guy. Nick Norman Anglo. Smith. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, he hasn't got the courage to come back. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> so anyway. it, was, uh, it, it was a dark moment. It was. Um, and if you take your uh, uh, mind back to that, you'll recall that they were talking about asset disposals. Uh, there was a lot of concern about uh, commodity prices that they were disposing at the bottom of the cycle. But if you look through the, the portfolio, which was my argument to you, the sum of the parts was worth much mm. more um, than, the, than the market value. And you were being given some wonderful assets for nothing. Is uh, it on to anybody's list for 2017? And we'll take the money away now. Okay, take the money away. <laughs> You're going to put it into something else. Yes. What we've asked our guests this evening to do is give us two global and two South Africa picks. Joseph, uh, Jay and Busha. Joseph Busha, I'm starting with you on two locals. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Truth, if it is local. Is it local? Mm -hmm. It's local enough. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mr. Price. Okay. Okay, so and, and, and True Wits and Mr. Price, let us tear him. Global, no, 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 that's okay, it's okay. global, just okay. do it. Um, True Wits and Mr. Price, any criticism of True Wits and Mr. Price? Um, other than directors in uh, uh, Mr. Price toward the end of last year gave themselves share options at 136 rand strike price. So and we're being combative uh, too. And yes. they were being all fighty about yeah, it. It's not nice to see your share price down when you used to things in they one done nothing wrong, but used to seeing it up. Yeah. Now, tw 2016 <laughs> well. was a horrible year for Mr. Price. Ain't as horrible. Uh, it was absolutely yeah. horrible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is it a good pick for 2017? South African retail I, generally? I, I like uh, the theme of the retailers mm -hmm. because they've been beaten up. But yep. my preference is for a, a different retailer, but I like the theme. Okay, the theme is good. Why true with why Mr. Price? I mean, definitely just mentioned that. They were totally, totally dismissed. Uh, certainly, I think the fundamentals haven't changed much apart from political. But also, I think Biba is in town next year. So, 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 <laughs> so both the young and the old Bibas are going to go into fashion. <laughs> Once you've paid for a, for, a, for, a, for a Justin Bieber Blumen ticket for a concert, there's going to be no money left to buy yourself an outfit. Well, I mean, if you go to Mr. Price, you can still pick the cheap stuff. Okay. But certainly, I think inflation is going to be contained next mm -hmm. year. Okay? I, I don't think that unless if America starts being aggressive on um, increasing rates, we're going to see a massive increase in SA. So things are going to remain almost uh, subdued, uh, you know, from that. I think the growth is looking t uh, slightly positive from where we were uh, six months, three months ago in terms of their outlook. So that might help the retailers a little okay. bit and uh, people start seeing value in them. I mean, I, I like your, your cheeky response, it's true with local, because uh, like everybody else, they've gone and globalized. Mm -hmm. They've pay, paid a lot of money for UK assets. I mean, you are on, the, <laughs> on, the, on the, the track of the retail as well, but not the clothing retail, it's not pure clothing anyway. My, my pick in that cluster is uh, Woolworths. But is that local? 
<laughs> so, same lovely question. <laughs> it's listed locally. It, it is listed locally. But, yeah. but, but so that's what's so wonderful I'm going to play two, two for mm. the price of one. Okay. I'm going to get a real uh, retailer's discount here. And that in uh, my argument to, uh, about the one local, one global is uh, Woolworths represents both. And my second pick uh, is Group 5, which represents local and global. Okay, so Woolworths and Group 5, um, and both of those are uh, essentially the play the global game. And Group 5 yeah. has been very clever in, in its venture recent, uh, in toward the end of last year. Uh, Group 5 got into bed with Aberdeen Asset Management in, yeah. in terms of its uh, toll road business in Europe. So Group 5's global footprint is underappreciated, and it would have the same... Uh, sort of theme that my argument was around Anglos, that here is an asset that's, uh, that's visible, uh, you can get wonderful financials on it, but it's being underappreciated for what it represents. And Group 5 has this uh, impressive concessions business in Europe. Uh, Poland and Hungary are the main footprints. Um, people uh, actually pay their tolls there. People <laughs> actually pay their tolls <laughs> <laughs> as cash upfront. <laughs> um, and it's a very powerful cash generator. It's good economies. And Woolies is not broken, but it's quite bruised. It's had a horrible Which is 2016. Why I like it. Yeah. So they, 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 along with the other retailers, uh, James' point is they've 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 had a a, a horrible uh, 2016. The economy's been uh, under pressure. Con consumer household balance sheets have been stressed. Uh, interest rates hiked through 2016, and I think a lot of that is reversing. Um, our suspicion is that economic growth, whilst not elevated, will be better in South Africa in 17 than 16. Inflation. One and a half? Yeah, you could call it one and a half. My number's two. Okay, um, good. I think that you will finish the 1. year. One point nine. One point nine five. Yeah, let's stop there. Um, <laughs> inflation, we think, will finish the year closer to four than uh, mm. the current six. You're banking on four. Alone. You're banking mm. on four. I think four is a good number. Mm. And interest rates have peaked. Yep. The the rand could also play play ball and the, the rand could uh, uh, could strengthen yeah. or, or could stay on I'm the strongest I'm feeling side. a lot better about 2017 than I was this time last year about 2016. So Dr. Adrian Savile has cheated. Um, he's taken Woolworths and Group 5, <laughs> which <laughs> form the function of both global and local. Sasha Norishkin, are you cheating or are you going to give us four shares? I'm, I'm in his camp for once on Woolies. We right. agree on Woolies, and I've chosen Naspat because you can't buy Naspat anywhere else. Bruce. Now, why not buy Tencent rather than Naspat? I was looking at a graph Some of, the parts, of the outperformance of, na of Tencent exactly, versus Naspat. Exactly, which is Nuspers. why you want to buy Naspat. But, but Naspat has been the dog permanently. Exactly. And it's you want to buy the sum of the parts, Bruce. But you're yeah. getting the exact same asset, even mm. if it's not closing the discount. You're getting the same earnings power. Oh, I, yes. I, I'm, I, I find it hard to believe that I'm making an argument for Nuspers. <laughs> it's, 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 it's an academic you point. You've done a lot of years. <laughs> okay, so, so Nuspers, again, you're cheating. You're going for two South African mm -hmm. companies Everyone. that have got global reach. DSTV and multi-choice, they're synonymous. So even though yeah. it's almost, you know, in terms of the sum of the parts calculation, I don't know, minus 50 billion rand or whatever. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so Woolies and Nuspers for you. Yes, I think okay. also to add to Woolies, um, the investor presentation in November on David Jones's yep. food aspirations, mm -hmm. I like those. So even though that's not local, I think they can replicate that and model you think there. they can get that right? I <laughs> think they can. And that's a, a void in Australia. Mm. Mm. No, yeah. it's, a, it's, a great, it's their great opportunity. Joseph, some real global shares, please, not just South Africans pretending to be global. Give me two. The unfortunate part is that I was going to say Naspers and Woolies. Okay. So, so, so it's unfortunate <laughs> that we come into there. But, but I think if you just... No, but I mean, I, I'm, willing to, to, I'm willing to accept them because I think okay. for most South African investors, frankly, to mess around with the Reserve Bank and bother with all of that, if you can get the global exposure through a South African listing, why go mm. global unless you've got lots of money? No, I agree with you. I, I think if you go to the sum of parts issue, really, you, so you've got Tencent as a major kind of lead within NASPERS, um, but the e-commerce and all the other things they've been doing, I think has been fantastic. Payments. So the share price, mm. uh, you know, in terms of our target, we've been saying it might get to 2,600. All of a sudden, it kind of hits um, um, a, a plateau. 
um, and it has come down below 2,000 mm -hmm. rand per share. So my view is that, you know, come 2017, uh, it will start picking up um, mm -hmm. as well. I mean, you see Donald Trump like uh, social media. Donald <laughs> Trump <laughs> like social the, media. The, the president <laughs> in a week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, him. So, 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 so I think, you know, it has a little bit of uh, some leg to go. So I still believe that it's one of the best shares you could buy if you want to diversify uh, so into we, the global. So we've invited, we've invited three people onto the show. Well, we're, we're we're be expecting eight shares <laughs> and I got five um, but what we where we have a crossover and we've got complete agreement is on Naspers and Woolies well, academic agreement yes. um, no 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 yeah uh, academic uh, agreement <laughs> technical <laughs> agreement <laughs> yeah. but you're frightened of it you still no, think I, it's, I, I, you can't as a value investor go anywhere near it well clear I mean it's not about uh, uh, being a value investor or a growth investor it's valuation okay. and I can't find the valuation there I've struggled for a long time okay. I've been wrong on it um, and, and, I'm happy, happy, and you're I'm, happy to stay wrong? I'm happy to stay wrong. If you want a global global, um, uh, Dominion Bank, a Canadian bank in Toronto is, uh, uh, is one to put into the pot. Okay. Um, it's not well known uh, amongst South African investment community. It's an exceptionally well capitalized bank. It's in a strong economy, good regulation, and arguably one of the most impressive uh, customer centricities amongst all banking models. But none of you is going anywhere near America. Which I am. Oh, no, are you Canada's going? Canada's close. Yeah. <laughs> That's not near America. <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be a bottleneck of people trying to get in in the next couple of weeks. Um, where, where are you going near Nike America? Nike and Priceline. Oh, oh you are yeah, mm. proper global mm. companies. Okay. Mm. Nike, nice book, by the way, by, mm. by, 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 by Phil Knight. Shoe Dog. Um, yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, um, so Nike it. and? Priceline. What does Priceline do? Priceline is only $8 billion less than Nike in market cap. $75 billion? It's the one company you've never heard of. Owns Booking.com, Bruce. Really? Yes. Trades on a mid-20s multiple. Oh, Adrian's going to fall off his chair. No, it's growing at about <laughs> the same rate. Mm -hmm. um, they've got over a million bookable properties, and in amongst all of that, over 20 million rooms. Mm -hmm. And we're only really scratching the surface of global travel. So as people move to more experiences rather than things, they're going to go with the channels they trust. Plus, also, they've got a travel agent's uh, portals. So they also own Agoda. And it's very small in North America. Yeah. It's actually a Dutch company initially. We, uh, we have some exposure to it um, How? for some of our clients uh, through a, a, a global okay. uh, position. Um, and I would agree. You know, I'd make the point again that it's not about value or growth. It's about valuation. Yeah. And uh, here's a business that, uh, as Sasha points out, is uh, got a wonderful uh, market presence. It's growing quickly, uh, and it's doing all the right uh, things, especially in terms of digital platform. Mm. It's, it's a, a mere one thousand five hundred dollars a share. Also, <laughs> they've never done you, a split. You, you should get yourself yeah. two. <laughs> 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 but and, and, and dog, there's a nice opportunity there. So Nike and Priceline, Dominican Bank. Nothing from Zimbabwe, Mr. Busha. Well, Group 5 has just gone into there, although hey. there are no cars <laughs> in terms of the e -tour. So they're going to be doing the tolling in, in Zim. Um, they're trying to build one from uh, Bait Bridge uh, to Mozambique via the eastern highlands of Zimbabwe. Oh. But, you know, I, I don't believe that there's enough traffic for, for, for them to justify. But the few tolls that are there, which is sustaining the Zimbabwean economy, is basically Group 5. There we go. Does Gentlemen? it end up at Barra? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Possibly just not yet. It. <laughs> it's going to raise the toll money to, to <laughs> okay. actually finish it. Jane Busher, the head of Jane Busher Investments. Dr. Adrian Savile, the chief strategist at Citadel, and also the best act director, Sasha Nurishkin. A whole cluster of shares there. You will be able to get the the vodcast on our website uh, first thing tomorrow morning. If you need to go through all of those shares again, plus the arguments for and against. Dr. Adrian Savile um, did choose Woolies, and uh, he also uh, chose Group Five. Group five. Yeah. Interesting shares. Then Sasha threw into the mix there as well. Nuss Bats and Joseph Busher agreed with him, but he likes a true worth of Mr. Price. Globalized South African companies seem to be the flavor of 2017. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your portfolios. Give us some feedback as to how they're doing. And then this time next year, we get them back in again and we <laughs> praise them for their genius. Until next time, bye-bye.